All right, so we're moving on to mission three. We're making some good progress so far. Yep. All right, so is this the boss fight, or do we have to do some stuff first? This is going to be the first major boss fight we fight in the game, but we're not going to find him just yet. First, we've got to go touch a stone for some reason. All right. Those pillars are so cool. Like, they could have just been nothing, but, like, that extra little detail is really oh, cool. Yeah. Well, we do come back to this room multiple times, so it makes sense they'd make it kind of cool, because it is a, mm -hmm. a fairly significant room to the overall game. Aw, oh, man. Devil May Cry always had such static environments. Oh, man, this this looks so dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that would have been really cool uh, in an actual horror game, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm wondering if they already had that idea for the pillars before they made the Switch Devil May Cry. See, that's the fun thing about this game. You just don't <laughs> yeah, know. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, was, that, was that part of it? No. Mm. Uh, this is another significant area to the game. We'll be coming back here again. Uh, <laughs> at the moment, all we really have to do is walk over and walk back for some reason. Uh -huh. I, d I didn't actually bother reading what it kind of said, so I wouldn't know if there was any significance. Because that's the thing. With the puzzles in Devil May Cry, all you really have to do is just tap the circle button onto everything that looks interactable, and you're yeah, pretty much yeah. good to go. There are no real, like, actual puzzles that require no. you to think about things. Um, like, I was thinking, this game specifically has way more interesting environments than, like, any other game in the series. Like, yeah. each, each room has, like, so much more detail put into it than... Whoa. Like, Again, obviously, yeah, because it was it's, made for a game, you know. It's probably made for a game where yeah. you're supposed to walk around slowly and take in all the environments. So, yeah, but oh. I, I think that's what make, like sets this game apart from the others in the series. It's got its own style. Especially when so it comes cool. to enemy designs. I mean, <laughs> check out these skeleton heads. These, is there, is there anything so more... They're so fucking spooky, man. Like, they just, uh, <laughs> just chomping away. Is there anything more early PS2 enemy design than skeleton <laughs> heads? <laughs> like, could you see that happening in, like, a modern game where it's just randomly, like, no, all the enemies have yeah. to uh, fit a certain house style? No, just skeleton heads. Why not? Well, in, like, uh, Uncharted 3, all those guys at the end had skeleton heads. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Well, they weren't, just, they weren't just heads, but... They you were, gotta let they, Uncharted they 3 riders. go, man. They were all ghost riders. Your heads are all on fire. So, this is the first time we get to see Dante being a dick to a boss. <laughs> yeah, like, a lot of people consider this Dante to be, like, the most boring. But he's still, you know, he's still got some smack talk in him. And he's still pretty cheesy yeah, in this yeah, game. Yeah, definitely. There's nothing I like more in a boss where the boss thinks he's, like, really hot shit. Mm -hmm, yeah. He thinks he's going to win easily. And then it's like, ah, oh, no, buddy. <laughs> I'm the protagonist of the video game. Yeah. You're going down. I remember the first time I played this game, like, first time I played Devil May Cry 1, this guy kicked my ass, because I had mm -hmm. no idea I was supposed to hit him on top. Oh, exactly, yeah, of, yeah, I was going to say, me too. I was, I was, like, smashing his head, and it was doing, like, barely any damage, and I was like, whoa, this game is impossible. This game has a really interesting art style, like, it kind of looks oh, yeah. really cel-shaded. Like, yeah, yeah, this boss fight in particular, like, the shadowing on him is mm -hmm. really cool. Looks especially good in the HD collection. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, Dante's got that effect on him, too. I love the design of this boss. Like, any other game, it would just be a spider or a scorpion, but nah, we're gonna make a giant spider scorpion made of <laughs> lava that shoots giant lasers at you. I was going to mention there that we got Devil Trigger when we got Alistair, because mm -hmm, yeah. kind of didn't mention that. <laughs> um, and Devil Trigger is a fairly important aspect of Devil May Cry 1. Mm -hmm. um, for example, it regenerates your health when you use it, and that comes mm -hmm. in real handy. You got a lot of giant orbs from that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You took him out really uh, fast. I know, because it was just a case of jumping on top of him and activating Devil Trigger at the right moment, and it's uh, pretty much good to go. Oh. Uh -huh. Speaking of orbs, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> our wonderful viewers pointed out in the comments of the last video that the orbs are crystallized demon blood. Which so, doesn't explain why yeah. you can find them yeah. by breaking uh, over, breaking open cabinets and stuff. Well, yeah, why are they in furniture? Why <laughs> do they have giant faces? Demon <laughs> furniture! Why they're crystallized? Like Now, in this scene here, he's supposed to chase you down the hallway, but... Uh, you can just run through the door next to you if you know it's there. Wow. Like, you I don't have to do the chase sequence. Yeah. I usually fight him every time uh, he does that. 
You can fight him when he's chasing you? Yeah, and you get a bunch of orbs. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I decided to look up the orbs, um, and they're all pretty much the same convoluted explanation. <laughs> like, um, green orbs are crystallized fluids of demons, blue orbs Ooh. are crystallized life force, and Ooh. purple orbs are crystallized magic. Oh, it's like, it's like Eco from Jack and Daxter. <laughs> It's like it's all a different element. But do you think why do um, have faces? <laughs> do you think um, God of War straight up lifted the red stuff being your XP? Mm, I don't know. Mm. It seems like a pretty like obvious thing to come up with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess. For a game. So this uh, guy's a real pain in the ass because you can only hit him with ranged attacks while he's in his cat form, and then you hit him with your regular mm. sword when he's got his big weak point ball out or whatever. Um, this thing has such an interesting design. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just something like standard. Uh, like, this looks like it, like it took a lot of creativity to come up with. It's got a lot of unique elements. There's also um, some really cool things you can do with him if you're more skilled than me. Like when he juts out his like long spike forward, you can actually get on top of it. Oh, wow. It's hard to do though. See, I barely survived. Sometimes he gets <laughs> he me. He explodes. Yeah, well. yeah. Sometimes he I, on one of my uh, one on my practice run, he totally exploded and killed me at the oh, end. Oh man, yeah. Like that's the thing about uh, Devil May Cry enemies is like every single one of them is like interesting in its own way. Like it's got a little unique element that sets it apart from like an enemy you'd see in any other hack and slash game. Oh yeah, um, definitely. And then uh, like. All of the Devil May Cry games, they all have different enemies. Like, there's no uh, enemy that's really constant throughout the entire series, unless there's something from 2. I'm not, <laughs> uh, I don't well, remember. There are a couple. Like, the lizard guys with the shield kind of sharp in 4. Oh, okay, you yeah. Know? Well, I was more talking about, like... Um, well, like, obviously, there are these standard sort of yeah. humanoid-type enemies, but, but they there's all no, like... have their own quirk to them, you know? There's also no, like, recycling bosses for nostalgia or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Between entries. I mean, they recycle bosses a lot in the actual games, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, um, those cat enemy, that cat enemy we just fought. Like, there's nothing like that in any of the other games. Or yeah, yeah. that one enemy that's uh, coming up later in the game. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I uh, think so, yeah. <laughs> um, but then also in 3, like, those statue enemies, like, those are really unique, and... You never see anything like that uh, in yeah. any of the other games. Um, and then, of course, obviously, like the knights and stuff from 4. But anyway, what's going on here? <laughs> so we're, we're going to be introduced to our secondary antagonist, I think. Mm -hmm. Who's this good-looking guy? I don't know. Should we say? <laughs> well, it's Nello Angelo, right? Nello Angelo. <laughs> That's the greatest name. That is the greatest name. Mello Angelo. Like <laughs> That just sounds like something a, like a pimp would have as his name. Like, yo ma'am, no Nello Angelo. <laughs> Here's the thing though. Yeah. Since yeah, yeah. R and L are interchangeable in Japanese, it's pretty mm -hmm. possible it was Nero Angelo and not yeah, Nello yeah. Angelo. Like what's the like what's the relation of Nello and Nero and <laughs> the interchangeable uh, ness of L's and R's in the Japanese language? Uh, Who knows? It doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is one of my favorite boss fights in the game. Spoiler warning, we're gonna fight him again after this, because <laughs> it's Devil May Cry. But um, he's uh, just a hell of a fun time to fight, basically, because it's like one of the only like straight up sword fights you mm -hmm. get in the game, yeah. and it's just a great time. You like sometimes you hit him with the sword, and he like parries it back at you. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to see how different the Devil Trigger designs are throughout the series. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, if you play a lot of three. You get used to like the Shin Megami Tensei style designs of the Devil Trigger, and then going into this, uh, it's like kind of weird. But it's cool seeing you two go at each other in the same state. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think he's not like the thing is with Devil May Cry towards the beginning is uh, the enemy, the bosses hit hard, but you hit hard too. Mm -hmm. So it's usually just a case of like 
as long as you don't get hit, bosses are pretty easy and pretty quick to beat. <laughs> Yeah, you, you just got to build up that confidence to go in without being afraid to get destroyed, because that's really what cripples you when playing Devil May Cry. If you just play keep away too much, yeah, trying to play it safe, then the enemies will just come in and wreck you. So is the main form attack of attack on this guy just uh, jumping over him and attacking him? That tends to uh, be my behind. main form of attack for every enemy in the game. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get some story development. Oh well. The story in this game is really interesting because you got to think of like what they came up with at this point in development before three. Yeah, was definitely. Pretty cool. And yeah. Ooh, what does the necklace mean? <laughs> so is he doing that thing that uh, people do in like like every time someone's like possessed? They always do this thing where like, oh, remember who you are, and they're like, oh, I'm breaking free from the control. Or did that amulet just have like an actual effect on him, <laughs> like some sort of see, kryptonite see, on him? See, this is this is the beauty of silent film, Hayden. You just don't know. <laughs> As you see, I got a really bad rank there because I did actually lose to that boss. Uh, Which I one? I just cut it out. Oh, Nello Sword Angelo. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nello Angelo. <laughs> Nello Angelo. <laughs> You say it. You, know, when you I say know, it, it sounds. Uh, I know, Melo like you're Angelo, doing, but you're doing some uh, <laughs> some crazy alliteration there. Melo Angelo. So here's the anyway, thing again. We get like, another do one. Do you of ever these. get caught in his little uh, Venus flytrap attack? I don't remember. Maybe I think I died once or <laughs> twice to him. Could he's hopping up and down, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's just a bit of a pain. Luckily, he doesn't take as long to beat as say something like a Blitz with mm -hmm. ranged weapons. I just find this enemy really interesting, like how he changes shape yeah. and stuff. So, like, just like, like you gotta wonder how they came up with it. Like, mm -hmm. okay, you're gonna have this phantom cat. He turns into like mm -hmm. gets spikes and like. Yeah, it's really yeah. impressive, honestly. Yeah. And then when that core opens up, and then you just start wailing on that. It's yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Such a weird enemy type. <laughs> This is a really short mission, actually. All we have to do is get back to that door in two minutes. Mm -hmm. So the only thing really in our way is this guy. Mm -hmm. I wonder if at one point he wasn't there and they were just like, damn, this mission's too short. Just throw the cat guy in again, come on. Wait, what's the time limit? Uh, you can see the time limit on screen. Yeah, I know, but I mean, <laughs> what's it for? Uh, we've got like some magic orb and its magic power's gonna run out unless we get to the door in time. What happens? Do you just have to restart? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I've never failed the mission. Maybe you okay. blow up. Yeah. Nice flag there. Nice flag. <laughs> See, they didn't need to put that flag in the game, but they did, because they care. Yeah. See, I nearly jump off the edge there. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you would have made it. <laughs> in Devil May Cry 1, you can just, uh, to jump off ledges, you just approach them and press X, and Dante will hop down. I forget mm. that a lot. Oh, okay. Is this leading the, into the uh, the sewer? Yeah, the sewer level. There's always got to be a sewer level. <laughs> it's probably uh, probably my least favorite area of the game. Uh, it does have some significance though later on. So yeah, it, it's not really the design of the level, just that there's so many of those ghost guys. Mm. <laughs> and then like the powered up ones. There's a mini boss down here that's a right pain in the ass. Just kind of a pain. What's the mini boss? Uh, it's like a, it's like a we just saw it in the uh, mission title card. It's like some super powered up ghost guy. Oh, okay, yeah, that was a, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, it isn't so much that he's like really difficult, but they put you in a really enclosed area. Mm -hmm, yeah, and fighting like, him is just a pain in the ass. Like pulls up a like force field that mm. you can't escape from. Um, even those uh those Reaper guys, you know. It could just be an annoying, like, range enemy that goes through walls, but they have those, uh, like, after you kill them, their scissors come down and, uh, can hurt you. That's kind of cool. Least, at least the ghost enemies in this game don't take too long to kill. Yeah. Like, I was playing some, uh, Devil May Cry 4 last night, and fighting the ghosts in that game, they just take forever. <laughs> yeah, some enemies in that game are a little weird. Like, I don't know what they were thinking for some of them. Mm. Like, Blitz. Blitz. 
What, what kind of move was that? That, that guy just Did you see that? <laughs> Gave you a really violent uh, back massage. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about these bug guys. They only appear in this level, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Oh, well. I don't even know why I stuck around to kill them. You can just leave. Yeah. They look really easy. <laughs> They blow up with one shotgun. Oh no, there was a there was a spooky wall on the door, never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're tricking Dante into being their exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> Can't leave until you kill them all. Now oh, now they're in this hallway as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was watching this uh part before we recorded. Oh. I saw them uh in the next room too, I think. Like once you get out of here. Mmm, rusty keys. Yeah, that 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 mm, seems pretty <laughs> Resident Evil. Yeah, couldn't just be a key. We have to say that it's rusty. It wouldn't have the right atmosphere if you yeah. just had some pristine keys, man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of um, like just these dead end corridors in this level. Yeah, where there's stuff down them. And you get the feeling the game thinks that, oh, this is a super secret area. Wouldn't think to look <laughs> down here, would you, Dante? Well, isn't there a part later on in the game where your health gets uh, taken away progressively as you run through this oh, area? Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's yeah. another mission. Yeah, this is, that's the next mission after this one, in fact. Yeah, well, I was going to say, those uh, health items are probably for that. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. You get <laughs> plenty of time to get to the end. Besides, if you've yeah. got Devil Trigger, you can get your life back. All right. So here you can see that this guy's just a real pain, like, he'll spend a lot of time in the air where it's hard to get a lot of good hits with him with the sword, yeah. plus sometimes he just goes completely out of reach, you, so you yeah, can't even hit say, him with your shotgun. Like, just chills in the wall for a while. Yeah, exactly. And his scissors do major damage. Mm -hmm. All I'm seeing is dull, dull, dull. Well, oh, it's, cool. it's, it's, it's hard to uh, yeah, work yeah, in know, a combo yeah. when he's in the air. We don't have Swordmaster here, so it's not like I can <laughs> get some crazy air combos going. Yeah. This guy's design is cool, at least. Yeah, yeah. He's got, like, a flaming head. Yeah, but it's like a, a lamb or something. Because what enemy design isn't improved by a flaming head? <laughs> flaming skull, yeah. So, uh... Those red orbs, are you, since it's crystallized demon blood, is that their blood? Or is it kind of like a demon souls, dark souls thing, where they're kind of like collecting them themselves because they have worth? I, 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 you were the one who went on the wiki, man. <laughs> All right. 